Hi guys, welcome to the second part of um, how to solve a cube blindfolded. So this part I teach you how to solve the corners um, blindfolded. So with the corners, um, there's this algorithm which you guys probably already know. It's the Y perm um, on a 3x3, three three, this one. So it's this algorithm on a 3x3, three three, except that when you execute it in blind solving, when you execute it, you don't do the F, the F move at the start and the F prime move at the, um, at the end of it. So it looks like this. What that does is it switches this piece with this piece. So in the blind solving um, letter scheme, it'd be A with P. So it switches these two um, blind solving. So, um, yeah, so the T perm, uh, I mean the Y perm, basically what it does is it switches these two, these two pieces. So that's A with C. But to get that, to, to actually switch it, what you're doing is you're doing a setup move. I'll quickly solve this real quick. So what you're doing to switch this with here, you have to get this piece to the P position. So like that. And then you do the P, the algorithm I just showed you. Um, so that's the, again, the Y perm without the, the setup move, F and F prime. So you bring the C down to here, do the algorithm, and then you bring, and then you undo your setup move. So since we move C down here doing F, to undo that, it's just F prime. And that's basically what a Y perm is. It's the same thing if you want to switch this piece with, say, the T position right here. You just do a D, or is it, yeah, a D prime to get the T to here, to the P position. Do your, uh, do the algorithm, and then undo the setup move. So that's D. So yeah, that's basically how it works. So when so this is the buffer piece and this is the target uh piece. So to so we're gonna undo it. So undo what we just did. So this um piece, you um if you practiced you would know that this is the T piece. So that's T right here. So right now what I'm remembering is T. And then you look at where the T position is this one and this is the C piece so C is right here and then since this is the A spot the buffer piece we don't need to remember any further so it's TC so you can just remember it as TC and that's um, how you get how you solve it so you put the T to the P position undo the setup move and then get the C, get the C, um, the C sticker to the P position. Do your algorithm, and then it's solved. So, if you don't get it, I'll go into a little more detail. So, basically, what it is is what you what you have to do is you have to try to get any any piece. So, like say this piece to here without disturbing the A piece. So disturbing the A piece means um, like turning the left the left side because that moves the A piece over to here over to the I piece and also the B. You can't move the B because that will mess up this as well. So the only two um, faces you can't move is L and B. The rest you can move. So to get say the X piece to the P piece is doing a D and then an F prime right there. Then to switch the A piece with the with the X piece, you just do that algorithm and then undo your setup move. So that's F and then D prime. So that switch these two. So to memorize it, um, what you what you do? I'll, I'll do the uh, example I did earlier on. 
So this is T and so T right here and C up here. So that's really easy. Um, cause t so you so you get the letters in order. So T C and you try to make up a word with it. So for every two letters, you make up a word with the two letters. So for T C, I can. There's a lot of words I can make up, but I'm gonna choose the word tack, like blue tack or something, or the sharp tack. So then, when you're closing your eyes, um, you can remember that it's the T, cause T and tack. So you put the T to the P place, put the T back, and then tack. So the next part of tack is C, cause tack. -c. So then you put the C to the P place and then solve it like that. So there are some pretty hard, um, there are some hard um, places where it it's kind of hard to figure out how to get it to the P place, but I'll leave all the algorithms to get it, to get each piece to the, to the P position. The only pieces you don't have to worry about is A, obviously, because A is the buffer piece. Q, no, actually R, sorry, that's R, not Q and E. So A, R, and E, you don't have to worry about figuring out how to get that to the buffer piece, um, to the target piece, sorry. So, I'm sorry if you didn't get that, but I hope I explained it well. So I'm just going to quickly do a scramble, a corners only scramble, and then um, um, I'll do a little walkthrough solve. Okay, so here's the scramble. As you can see, the only pieces that are scrambled are the corner pieces. So, here I have a piece of paper so we can write down what we memorize. So, first, the first thing is we look at the buffer piece. So, that's this piece. And then we see where does it need to go. So, we look at this piece and we see it's the blue piece, the red piece, and the yellow piece. So, we look for the blue, red, and yellow piece. And that's here, so that's T. So we can write down T on our piece of paper. And then we can see T um, is the blue, the orange, and the white piece. Where does that need to go? It needs to go to R. But since R is the buffer spot, we have to start a new cycle. So it goes T, so then we uh, do a new cycle. And then when we do a new cycle, what I usually um, do when the buffer piece goes back to um, when the buffer piece comes back to its normal spot is I just do the the P move since P you don't need any setup move to get it there so P so we will do the P move so the P move that gets this to the buffer spot and then um, where does this need to go so orange yellow and blue orange yellow and blue needs to go right here which is the H spot H um, by the way um, if you're having trouble keeping track of which pieces you already solved it's a good idea to put like one finger on it so so far we solved the T piece and the H piece the only reason why we didn't start a P piece is because it was right after we started a new cycle because we bought the buffer piece back to its normal position so after we do the H, so we can see the H is the white, the green, and the red piece. White, green, and red needs to go right here to the C piece, to the C position. Okay, so, so the C position, the next place where this needs to go is right here, which is the, uh, the K piece. So K. But since we've already, um, this, this was the, uh, the piece where we started off a new cycle, because we started our new cycle up in P, and now it goes back to K, and since this, this is the same corner piece, we have to start another cycle. So I can see that we have a corner twist right here, and we also have these two pieces that need to switch. So, I think I'll choose to do the Q piece, which is right here. So, we can write Q, but this starts a new cycle, so we'll just draw a line here. Q, 
Q needs to go to F. F goes, so F. And then F needs to go back to Q. So Q. Okay, so now we, we need to solve a corner piece. Th this corner uh, twist, sorry. So, um, so all the pieces right now are solved, except for this piece and also the buffer piece, which also has a corner twist. Um, so, again, start a new cycle. The only reason the buffer piece has a corner twist cause, is because it's impossible to have um, just one piece that's twisted wrongly on a cube. So if we solve this, we know that the buffer piece will also be twisted correctly. So I'll choose to go to the L piece. So L. And then L needs to go to E, F, G. So the G piece. So G. So this is this right here is um, what our memorization is. T, P, H, C, K, Q, F, Q, L, G. So... Now let's put it into letters, um, into pairs, sorry. So TP is one pair, HC is another, KQ is another, and FQ is another, and LG is another. So now we're going to try to make up a picture using these uh, five letter pairs. So we'd obviously do this while we're memorizing, but... For the sake of this video, I'll just do it now. So TP, um, we could probably use a uh, tap, like a drinking tap. And HC is maybe hack. Hacks. So so far we can we can make a sentence. So we'll do the sentence after this. KQ, that's pretty hard. Um, I usually uh, just make up like. A case uh, when I get K Q, I do a K K, um, a K K um, word. So like or that has two Ks because it's impossible when you're blind solving to have two Ks next to each other. So for K Q, I'll do K K. So we can do like kicks, kicks I guess, and F Q. I do frequently asked questions or fact for short. Um, cause I can remember fact when I'm blind solving and LG, we can do legs. Um, so w in our memorization, we can remember, so that someone hacked the tap. So I'll just write out a sentence. So someone, uh, found a tap hack. Maybe that's better. Someone found someone, sorry. Someone found, uh, whoops, that goes here, sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. So, someone found a tap hack by kicking it, because here's kick. So, someone found a tap hack by kicking it, by kicking it. Um... So, um, sorry, this is leg, I said. So, we found out how to, we found out how to get rid of this hack by looking in the frequently asked questions. And what you have to do is maybe jam your leg through it. So, if we can remember that. So, someone found a tap hack. So, so far, so, okay, so, someone found a tap hack and by... By kicking it. So then we looked in the frequently asked questions to see how to solve it, and we found out that we had to jam our leg into the tap. So that's the um, you have to try to imagine that picture in your head, and then you can try to execute it. So tap hack is so tap first is T, so we put our T right um, to the P, do the algorithm. Don't worry if you can't remember this algorithm, I'll leave it in the description. And then so, so tap, so that the next one is P. And then hack, so H is over here. We'll move the H to the P position. So tap, um, so that's hack, so the next one is C, which is just the Y term. 
It's a tap hack. So someone found a tap hack by kicking it. So we remember that the other K is actually Q because double Ks are impossible. So to get this K to here, to the P position, what we can do is move this here and then turn the right face up. And then do our algorithm. And then undo that. So kicking it, so Q is here. So someone found a tap hack by kicking it. So then now we have to go to the frequently asked question. So F Q, so F is here. We can just do an F2 for that. So frequently asked questions. So the next Q is here. And then we have to jam our leg into it. So leg is here. And then the G in leg is here. So we can do D2 and then an R. And yeah, that's how you do the corners. Um, I hope this video wasn't too confusing. Um, I'm sure you'll eventually get it if you watch it enough times. But yeah, that's um, basically, that's called Old Pac-Man, if you're wondering, for uh, corners. it's I haven't really seen any other methods for blind solving other than Old Pac-Man. So yeah, um, again, I hope this video helped you, and if it did, Make sure you leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video where we learn how to do the edges. So, see you guys.